This is the Friday Shoes production. Lesson 11 4 on books on page 591. The target, I can find the mean, median, and mode and range of a set of data. We call those the measures of central tendency and then range. So measures of central tendency are numbers that describe the center of a set of data. The most common measures are mean, median, and mode. And the range is also used to describe a set of data. So we're going to look at these four. You've probably heard of them and maybe even calculated these before. So I'll go through this pretty quick here. So we have measures. We have mean. What is that? That's the sum of the data divided by the number of items in that set of data. The median is the middle number of the data ordered from least to greatest or the mean of the middle two numbers if there's two in the middle. And mode is the number or numbers that occur most often. There can be more than one mode or there could be no mode. And then range is the difference between the greatest number, the highest number, the maximum, and the least number, the minimum, in the set of data. Or as I like to say, high minus low. Best way, of course, to learn this, these terms, is the seed in action. So it says, find the measures of central tendency and range for this example. It says, the ages and years of the people seated at the table are 22, 18, 24, 32, 24, and 18. Find the mean, median, mode, and range of the set of data. All right, so let's talk about the mean. Take all your numbers, add them up, divide by the number of data points, or the number, in this case, of people. So we had 138 divided by 6, or 23 years old. So that would be the mean. Let's talk about the median. Median requires you to put all the numbers in order from least to greatest. So you got to do that first. Put them all in the order from least to greatest. Then you find the one that's in the middle. If you notice, there is no middle number. There's a two numbers that are in the middle. So if given that, you have to add those up and divide them by two. Or find the number that's in between them. Exactly in between 22 and 24, which is 23. It's the same as adding them up and dividing by 2. How about the mode or the most popular? So the data set has two modes actually. 18 and 24 show up more often than any other numbers. So 18 and 24 would be your modes. And your range is there high, my, high number minus your low number, high data point minus your low data point, 32 minus 18 which is 14 years. It just shows the spread of the data. I'll spread it out. Spread out it is 14 years. All right, you give it a shot here. Pause the video, come on back, see how you do. A, the prices of parking at several lots are listed below. Find the mean, median, and mode, and range. Round to the nearest cent where you need to. All right, first off, our mean. Add them all up, divide by six. You get four dollars and four cents. How about our median? Well, we got to organize it from least to greatest. I did that. Now I noticed that we have two in the middle because we have six numbers. So we have two in the middle, three and 4.25. And when we do that, we've got three plus 4.25 divided by two, which is 3.625. Now it says round to the nearest cent. So therefore I will take this and I'll round this to 3.63. So three dollars and sixty-three cents. How about moat? That's just going to be three dollars because it's the one that shows up the most. I should put a dollar sign on that. And the range is going to be six minus two fifty, which is three fifty. All right. Get to page 593. Here we are, example three. Spencer has the following scores and five quizzes. He's got a 90, 85, 80, 75, and 90. If his teacher drops his lowest score, and that would be the 75, it looks like, which of the following statements would be true? The mean would decrease, the mean would increase, the median would decrease, or the median would not change. Well, the way we got to do this is we're actually going to have to calculate these things and then do them two different ways. Well, we can calculate with the 75 in there and then take the 75 and recalculate. So it says you need to find which statement would be true 
when you drop off that 75. Well, let's solve it here. So the mean of the five quizzes is, and they do that, it's 84. The mean of four quizzes after dropping off the 75 is 86.25. Since the mean increased, you can eliminate answer A. It's not going to be answer A. All right, let's move that off. It says find the median. All right, so the median, to, uh, bleh, find the median to check the other answers, answer choices, because they're talking about median and the other ones. Arrange the numbers from least to greatest. Which of the, with and without the lowest score? So the first one has the 75 in it, the second one does. We've got 85 and we got 87.5. Well, since the median increases from 85 to 87.5, you can eliminate answers C and D. As it is changing, it's actually increasing. And what do we have? B is the only possible answer. The mean would increase. And you can see it actually did that. All right, you give it a shot. Come on back, see how you did. Darcy deposits $35, $10, $25, and $50 into her savings account last month. If she deposits $44 this week, which of the following statements about the data set would be true? All right, let's look at our first data set without the $44 in it. I've calculated the mean, median, mode, and range. Then you go ahead and calculate with the $44 in the data set. And notice the mean goes to 32.8, that increased. The median increased to 35. Mode didn't change and the range didn't change. So. You can look at the answers here. It says the mean would decrease. Well, that's not correct. The mean would not change. No, it does change. The median would increase. Well, definitely increased. How about the mode? The mode would increase. No, it stays the same. So the median would increase to 35. That's the correct answer. And that's H. Don't forget, you can rewatch this video anytime or take a look at our book at the examples or online at our personal tutor videos. And this has been a Friday Shoes production.